Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here. Welcome you to episode 30 of Let's Play The Wind Waker. And um, I know this isn't exactly where I left off last time. That's because I kind of messed up the recording, so I have to redo this. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but... You know what, this part of the game is actually pretty fun, so I don't mind playing through this again. There's a blue chew jelly on this island, if you don't, if you didn't know already. This is Tingle Island, by the way. Just thought I'd make note of that in case you forgot. Let's see what we got here. The way to the Northern Fairy Isle is to the north. Really? And the only way out of the Hall of Death is death? Is that what the next sign says? I don't know, but let's see what we got in our post box here. Good evening, letters for Argon. We have one letter. It's always just one letter. I remember one time when I had like four letters in one of these. It was crazy. Find some knights, crests, and return to me. Orca. Yeah, that's something we'll have to do later on for our ultimate like hurricane spin move. I know that's kind of spoilers, but whatever. It's just, it's nothing too great. I'm probably not going to use it too much throughout the game anyways once I do get it. But it's worth it, I guess. For a little, for a few, very few uh, circumstances, that night express thing. All right, let's see what, we, see what we got up here. Um, oh my God, we got three tingles. I can count them. three. One, two, three. Except actually, this guy is. Uh, these two aren't named Tingle. This one's named Ankle over here, I think, and this one's David Jr., which is just hilarious. <laughs> it's like two guys are trying to find a job or something. And this is the best they could do. This is like minimum wage or something. Let's see, Mr. Fairy, the Tingle Tuner is definitely quite fun, but meeting face to face and talking in person is better. It is the best. What should we play? What I'm gonna play Jim Rummy. What about you? Wah? Why? I don't think I've ever seen a wall. It's so tiny. Do <laughs> no need to make an explicit note of that. There's so little room in that they must be throwing away most of those beautiful sparkling rupees that you find. How tragic. Maybe you should kindly ask the fairy in the Isle North of here for assistance. For assistance. Yes, when you see a fairy for help. When you ask a fairy for help, good things are bound to happen, sir. Next time, bring me one of the favorites. A chart that I haven't seen yet. Please, sir, just bring me one. Please. Well, have you seen this thing called the Tingle Chart? Goodbye, Mr. Fairy. Please come visit me again at Tingle Tower again. Uh, where wonderful magic, fairy magic makes the place spin and spin. Uh, fairy magic or slave labor. You be the judge of that one. Alright. Yes, yeah, so there's really not too much to do here. Um, something I should make a note of too is that these Tingle statues won't be here unless you've actually collected them in the dungeons. So you need to use the Tingle Tuner to get these to appear. And if you talk to either David Jr. or Knuckle up there, I mean Ankle, um, they should give you rupees for the Tingle statues. But my wallet's full, so I think I'm going to save that for a later day when I actually need the rupees. And trust me, you will need the rupees. Oh, here we go. Round four. We can do this all day, man. All day and all night. That's something I should mention too. Is that right now it's it's perpetually night. They'll make mention of that later on, but basically whatever you do right now, it's always going to stay night until a certain point in the game. Until we base basically until we get the third pearl. And it, it, actually, I guess I can show this is that if you play the song passing during this, like you think, okay, well I can just make it go to the daytime with this, right? Well, uh, I'm actually not sure what happens if you try to do this. I've never tried it. An evil power seems to be at blocked your effects of your music you conducted. <laughs> well, that's as good as an explanation of it as I've ever heard. Alright, are we actually in this sector? Yeah. Because something I've noticed sometimes that happens more often than not, actually, is that when you're sailing in this particular part of the game where the, like it is nighttime and you're all this scary music, this ocean theme was mixed with the Ganon's theme is playing, sometimes when you sail into the square of Windfall, It'll do this weird thing where it like blacks out, like it fades to black, and then it loads you back at the edge of the square. It's a really strange glitch. It doesn't really do anything. It's just happened to me several times before. And I figured I'd make note of it since it didn't happen this time. It is just as the postman told us, the pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of the townsfolk. Something tells me that that big mast is going to draw the attention of somebody. Especially the guy who sits on the bench right in front of that ship, you know. I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Argon, I think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to without them finding out about you. Oh, so it's like a... It's like a double entendre kind of thing. Well, not really, but... That's just a fun word to say. Alright, yeah, so, um... Basically what you gotta do now is you gotta... Like you said, you gotta find out what the pirates are doing here. Like, are they just... Munching on some nachos here or something? Or are they actually doing something kind of dangerous and productive? Well, let's see if we can just talk to them head on here. How do you treat a shark? Um, if I remember the answer to this one is chumily. Yeah, cause like, 
Uh, every time you play the game, this, like, this will be different here. Uh, shoot. But there's, like, only a certain... There's only a select few that you can get here. Like, it's random every time, but... Uh, let's see. Chumley? No, no, that's completely wrong. Now, scram, non-pirate! Yeah. I think even if you put in the right password there, then they won't let you in, so... Chumley might be the right password. I'm not totally sure. I mean, it would make sense to me. It's, uh... They love their puns, then, pirates. Alright, so yeah, so we gotta find out where exactly these pirates are. And if you look around, you can look look around th from hell and high water. Oh, uh, that didn't make sense. And you won't find them if you go, like, over this way. What you gotta do is you gotta notice that in the bomb shop over there, uh, there's a light on in the bomb shop. And so that's supposed to be your indication to go there. Because light is a beacon of hope, isn't it? Just like Oprah. Let's see. We're closed today, so scrap now! That was violent. <laughs> I love how the screen shook there for like just a nanosecond, it was funny. Alright, yeah, so what you gotta do here is you gotta be all solid snake and just try and sneak past. Kinda like the Forsaken Fortress from before. Because if you head back here, there will be, I don't know if I showed this off earlier in the game, but there is an entrance back here. Don't be yelling, Link. They're gonna, you're gonna, they're gonna catch on to, and know that you're here if you yell like that from outside. I mean, these walls are not soundproof, I, at least I wouldn't assume that they are. And I won't assume anything, because you know what happens when you assume it makes an ass out of you and me. That joke is so old. <laughs> oh, what are you guys doing? Man, <laughs> this is crazy. Don't be mad at us. It's not our fault that we absolutely got to have bombs to get the treasure we're after. Now, how about you just think of it as payback for the nasty little monopoly you've been running here, yeah? Eh, well, what goes around comes around, I guess. Still, this is a little extreme. So I bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yup, I bet you are. And I bet that you guys are just... stupid. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over that bit of fast talking you pulled to get that information out of the postman. Hmm? Huh? Oh, yeah, that was smooth. Dude, Gonzo can't be smooth. He's way too clunky. Look at him. The smoothest thing about him is that chest hair swirl. I tell you, the minute I set the, my eyes on that Argon, I just knew he was hiding something back at outset, yeah? So when I saw the postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about the kid and stuff. And presto, he spills the beans! Aw, oh, is he that soft of heart? I guess that's kind of nice. Good work, Gonzo. Really, just top notch. I, f I find it funny, though. It's I, uh, I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've seen such wit, such cunning. I, I wonder why. You know, with your cunning and Miss Tetris smarts, if you two got married and had a kid, that kid would be the greatest pirate to ever sail the seas. Yup, the greatest and ugliest. You idiot, keep your mouth shut, yeah? Don't be so stupid. He's got like the perfect smile there. That's totally the Jim Carrey smile right there. Miss Tetra, are you listening to this nitwit? Can't you dock and pay or something? Can't you give him a good whipping? Yeah. Quick oof not both of you. I love that shot, right? I don't know what it is. It's just ever since I played this game for the first time, I've just anticipated this shot right here, along with another one that we're gonna be seeing in this cutscene a little later. It's just the shots on Tetra here are so perfect. Keep your childish jokes to yourselves and get those bombs back to the ship. The second you're done loading them up, we're setting sail for Outset Island. What? Miss, we have to leave immediately, but it's been so long since we were on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? How about we grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? Speaking of grub, I just finished a chicken dinner before this recording. Actually, it was a jumbo chicken TV dinner. It was so good. It's just that the boys and I are so excited to come to town, yeah? And I can't help but think it would be awful hard on them to leave with so soon without a proper layover. What say we set sail tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? That treasure isn't going anywhere. Look how much movement there is on the screen right now. That's so weird. And then it moves to, like, not moving at all. You're with me, right, boys? Who's for a night of fun? Yeah, those faces just scream excitement and fun, you know? That's the other shot right there. Her eyes are so scary. They're just, like, the most bright thing in the world. But everything else around her is dark. You're all fools, do you know that? You saw that demolish island. You saw that senseless destruction. We have to hurry on to Outside Island, or the same thing could happen there. I should finish up this cutscene soon. I'm, I'm verging on a longer video. Not to be disrespectful, but, but by the sound of things, you're worried more about that island than, than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous. I want you to know the treasure. Oh, I don't believe that at all. You're you're a decent human being. What the fuck? Oh, don't. That can't be good. I didn't even make a single peep, and you just had to look up at that moment. All right, we can leave tomorrow, you big babies. We're saying sail first light, so no sleeping in. Understood? 
Oh yeah. Derp. Those guys are just gliding along the floor. Look at that. Say there, brother. What's today's password again? Oh, here's the good stuff. Mac, are you serious? You forgot already? You're so useless, and I'm so indignant with my nose. My nose shaped like a raindrop or a papaya. Today's word password is chumily, yeah? Yeah, see? <laughs> Even though I put it in exactly right, you know that Nico won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right, and he's really picky about it, so I'll say it once more. Today's password is chumily, yeah? Got it. It was in red text, so you can't forget it. Chumily, eh? Yeah, don't you know? I love how that guy's eyes are just perpetually closed. Like, he doesn't want to see anything that's going on here. I would free you, dude, with my... I would, like, cut you open with my sword. Or cut the ropes open with my sword, I mean. But, uh, unfortunately, you have a policy in here that just restricts the use of my sword, so can't really do much. Yeah, and like you can see, you can actually head back here and rob him of some of his rupees if you want. Not all of these barrels will have ten rupees in them, just a few of them. I think there's, like, thirty rupees back there altogether, so... But my wallet's full anyways, and chances are that your wallet's full by this point, too. But that's okay, because actually pretty soon you're going to be able to upgrade uh, your wallet to carry a thousand rupees. And then not soon, lo not long after that, you'll be up to upgrading to five thousand rupees. So it's just going to be all around a good time. 